Hello everyone, today I am going to make a pony bead beaded necklace. And I'm using these lovely pony beads that I got from the range, $7.99 in the box. So check that out, I'll put a link below. Um, we've got some pliers, some cutters, some 0.8mm elastic, beading clip, extra large, Lobster clasp, 8mm split rings, which is like a double loop jump ring. Two crimp beads. So this one's not going to be a tied necklace, it's going to be made with lobster clasps and jump rings. Hence I've used large because of the large pony beads. So I've gone ahead and measured 20 inches of elastic and cut. I'm going to make a 16 inch necklace. So I'm going to first of all attach the beading clip and I'm just going to go through all the colours and attach. going to be very bright and vibrant in colour. I've just uploaded a tutorial for this one, which is the same beads with some flower beads. Everything's available on the website except for the pony beads. The website is www.lowcostcraftsupplies.co.uk This is a good project for children and just tie the end. When I say children, I, I don't mean very young children, due to obviously the beads being a choking hazard. Definitely not for under threes. And really, I would say not for under fives. Hope you've had a good day today. I've been packing your lovely orders. Just come back from the post office. So hopefully you won't have to wait too long for your goodies to arrive. Thank you very much for your orders. We really appreciate them. Helps immensely. many things you can make with these beads. So if you do like working with large pony beads, keep an eye out for more tutorials. I'm going to do is take that clip off and I'm going to add the first part of the fastenings for the necklace. So first of all we take a crimp bead and thread. Then I'm using the split rings as a jump ring. 
and I go back through the crimp bead. Can be a bit fiddly. There we go. So it's looking like this. Then we're going to go to here. And I'm going to crimp the end of the crimp bead. Now when I, what I will do is thread this back through but also I'm going to put over the top these are crimp bead covers like a letter C and they go over the top of the crimp bead and then you close. You can get a crimp bead tool, which mine has broke, but I have ordered another one. So what you would do is put this over the top of the crimp bead and then close. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my pliers for this. Be very careful not to. It's best to go slowly. There we are, that's on secure. So what will happen is I'll go back through some beads. and then snip an end off when I'm nearer to finishing. So it will look like this. Okay, just carry on, where did we get to? These beads I bought from Weymouth on the weekend. We weren't there for the day. But if you go to the actual, the range superstores, they have a lot more available. This ruler is 14 inches. I suppose I could always buy these boxes because not everyone wants a whole box. And I could do, like I'm doing here, all the colours. So you can buy a smaller amount. So I think I'll do that next time I'm near the range. Okay, 16 inches now. Let me just put that on there. I'm going to take these and I'm 
just going to snip the tail from that one. There we go. Isn't it colourful? Be looking out for more tutorials with these pony beads. I've got lots of tutorials planned. Okay, so we're going to do this end now. So we take the crimp bead, thread the elastic through. to apply the lobster clasp to the split ring. I'm just going to, there is a tool, but I'm just going to use my nails for quickness. Just put that on. Just thread that through. So there's our split ring, there's our crimp bead. And then what we're going to do is go over the top like this, back through the crimp bead. There we are. And then we're going to pull and we're going to go back through a couple of beads. Now I'm going to squeeze the crimp bead. I'm going to snip off the excess. And like last time, I'm going to add the crimp bead cover. And obviously because it's elastic, it'll be easier to just pull it over the top and close. And then close with the pliers. There we go. Make sure that's back in. And there we have our necklace. I have to do it right handed. It's no good trying to do that. There. There's our beaded necklace. Happy lobster clasp and split rings as jump rings. If you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up please like the video share and subscribe to the channel i have lots of videos available and so many more planned so thank you for watching take care bye